A happy man this morning as he went through the doors of Ibrox as manager for the first time since 1978. I spoke to him then and asked him first about the importance of the new non-sectarian policy at Rangers. It was number one as far as I was concerned. But you're starting now with, uh, as you understand it, a completely non-sectarian policy. That's correct. I just think football players. What was the next question? Next question. Um, you, uh, of course, have been uh, the third choice, in effect. Two managers were uh, named before you. Does that affect your thinking no, at all? No, no, no. I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad they never wanted it. I'm glad they didn't want the job. And the thought of playing Aberdeen and Dundee United in his first two games. Great. Great games to start. I just want to start good hard games. That's the game. I know. And two weeks of how good things like that. Top to name to prove how good they are. How quickly do you think that, that uh, your methods uh, can get the club up you again? Better, you better ask the old guy up the stairs. Can't answer that one, son. Yeah. Do you have a time schedule, though? No, 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 no I'm, I'm, I don't, I've not even spoken to the players yet. Sorry about the sound quality in that report. response have you had from supporters? Tremendous. Um, Thursday night, I think it was half past two and I got to bed, phone calls from Canada, Toronto, America, my son's in the University of America, all that kind of stuff and it was, it was pretty exciting. In fact, Jock, uh, realistically speaking, looking at the season 1983-84, Rangers are anchored near the bottom of the Premier Division, they're out of Europe, but uh, what are your aims, realistically speaking? The first thing is to get the players confident in each other again. Uh, I, I feel when a team a team struggling and good players are, are struggling, uh, they, 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 they go individual and I want to get them back as a team and we discussed that yesterday, we'll discuss it again today and that's the first object, to get them playing for Rangers again. Now Jock, you left um, Rangers after having won the treble for the second time. Your reasons for leaving have never ever been revealed. Are you now in a position to do so? No. It's as simple as that. No, I, I won't talk about that. Well, um, let's move on now to uh, the fact that there's been a, a tremendous emphasis in the media, media and indeed uh, through Rangers Football Club themselves about the fact that you will have uh, carte blanche to sign any player, no, no matter what well, religion. That, that is correct. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Lyndon is committed. If they're good enough players to come to Rangers and they want to come to Rangers and I want them, I'll sign them. Mind you, Jock, this sort of statement was made many years ago while you, in fact, were manager. Um, no. was, was there any bond put on you? No, there's never been any pressure put on me to sign in. Just, I won't sign anybody. If I don't like him as a player, I won't sign him. It's as simple as that. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I, it's, uh, if things go wrong, it's me who'll get the sack, not the directors or not the players. I'll get the sack. So I'll sign the players I want, and I don't care what they are, or who they are, or where I come from. Well, in fact, uh, looking at the Premier Division as a whole now, it's improved greatly since you uh, were last manager of Rangers with uh, teams like Dundee United and Aberdeen coming very much to the fore. When you came back from Leicester, was the standard uh, greatly improved in your opinion? Well, I, I uh, to be frank, I wrote, I wrote about this when I came back and the standard of football in Scotland has improved at the top level. and all, in all level, on top of the top level, the Premier League, the, the coaching is improved. I think that the director of coaching for uh, Roxburgh has done a great job there. He's got the young lads, young men in Scotland coaching and thinking about the game. And there's still a great passion in Scotland for football. A great passion for, for young players and ambitious players. A lot of uh, razzmatazz and, and, and written about the game. But there's still kids coming through who want to play football. And uh, to answer your question in the sense that Aberdeen, well Aberdeen proved my point last year by going and winning a cup winners cup. Uh, to be truthful, I was disappointed that Dundee United didn't go further in their game. I think I think Jim would say that the, the, the game they got knocked out, they should have won. Uh, Celtic have done well in Europe. Rangers have done well in Europe over a piece. And this rubs off on players. And it rubs off on managers. And, and, and it rubs off on fans. They, they want to see good football. And the, the, I've only seen television clippings last week of uh, Aberdeen, Dundee United and Celtic. And I thought the three teams were tremendous. Tremendous games. I mean... That, that was Real Madrid stuff from the three clubs. And if they play that every week, I think, Frank, if you look at the, the tennis of those clubs, they're, they're, they're getting good at tennis because play, they're playing good football. And Rangers' attendance are doing because they've not been playing good football. It's as simple as that.
Yes, in fact, if you look at the attendances, Jock, you have instant support, really. But will that not support not be screaming for instant success? Is that not going to put additional pressure on you? Well, I mean, I might be... I may have returned to Mecca, but I'm no god, you know. I'm his son, but <laughs> just, uh, just a wee bit to go yet, you know what I mean, Frank? <laughs> we'll be working hard to, 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 to get a success as quickly as possible. And it's... Um, I sincerely... I've worked with these lads for once. An hour. I've spoken to them. And the mood in the camp is great right now. They know they've got to please me. They know they've got a hard man to please. But I will not lie to them. I won't cheat them, and I won't let them cheat me or cheat the fans. If, they, if they're not good enough, bye-bye, party. OK, so th does that rule out um, immediate signings? Yes. It does? Yes. Jock Wallace, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you.